So, Coach Feminist, what have we learned about the team throughout the preseason? Well, we learned that they're hungry and they're and they're uh, and they're they're ready to, to whack it up against uh, somebody else because they've been hitting each other for the last three weeks. So, um, you know, this this was not a, a difficult camp to to get guys' attention because we're obviously opening up with a, with a very good team. University of Indianapolis is always a, a top twenty or top twenty five Division two school. Um, you know, we, we played them last year. It was a very good game. We thought we, we honestly, we, I, we thought we outplayed them for, for more of the game. Um, but a, a, a couple breakdowns, uh, a couple uh, special teams snafus, um, loss of turnover battle, and, and, that, and that cost us the game. But, um, you know, we, we feel like if we clean things up that, uh, you know, we've got a, we got a great chance uh, on, on Saturday. And, um, I'm just really happy with where with where we're at. You know, we we've got a, a lot of guys coming back, uh, a lot of hungry guys. Uh, got some older guys, uh, you know, because of the COVID year, you, you know, or, or have the extra year, and um, you know, and a nice mix of the young guys. So we're we're just we're we're looking forward to to getting it going. Yeah, talked a little bit about upperclassmen and having some great talent coming back. Um, you know, as you as you approach the the first game. Um, you have holes to fill from people you lost last year. Who are you looking to fill those holes and, and step up this year? Well, I, I think our, our biggest question mark right now, because we, we lost three starters on the offensive line, and these were three, those were three guys that were, they, they were five season starters because <laughs> they, they got the extra COVID year. So um, a guy like Alex Pavlov, who got some time last year, um, he's really going to have to step it up. And he's, he's, he had an he awesome camp. Um, so we're we're certainly looking forward to, to him, um, um, you know, taking that next step in his development. And he's an older guy too. Now. He's he's now a, he's now a junior, so it's not like he's a, a, a true freshman or anything. He's just playing behind some some really good players. Uh, but uh, we're looking big things from from him. Um, Zahari Jefferson is a redshirt freshman uh, that uh, is going to have to step up and, and play because you know we lost uh, again a five year uh, five season starter there. And Zahari had a, a really nice camp. Um, you know, again, he hasn't played in a, in a true football game since his high school uh, senior year two years ago. But uh, Zahari is uh, very talented. And then we had a, um, a grad transfer, Mitch Scherer, who came from a Division II school in, in Minnesota, um, who was, was going to probably be the, the immediate backup at one of our tackle positions. He's, he's been called in the surface uh, the, the service because um, uh, our starting tackle, Colin Cox, we lost, uh, we're going to lose for the season. He tore his ACL um, in fourth practice of, of camp. So, you know, it's 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 up front um, where, uh, you know, I think we're going to be solid. We're, we're a little bit uh, thinner depth-wise than, I, than I'd like to be at this point, but uh, definitely have uh, some, some guys can play there. Yeah, let's talk about the offense a little bit. What should, uh, what should fans or what are you guys looking forward to most and who are some names that – fans should be looking out for in numbers as you go into the first game? Well, obviously it starts with the quarterback position, you know, and, 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 uh, you know, Stuart Ross, uh, you know, he got, uh, he got game experience right away as, as a true freshman, um, you know, in that, in that COVID year, he's our quarterback last year and Stu does a, a lot of great things. He's really talented. He's athletic. Um, you know, he, he can throw it, he can run it. Uh, it's more of, for him, it's, it's more of a consistency thing. And uh, going into the year three for him, uh, if we get if we get that uh, better consistent performance out of him, uh, you know I think he was a second team All Conference player last year. Um, you know I, I think he could be one of the better quarterbacks in our conference. So it, it all kind of starts with him. Uh, skilled guys wise, uh, you know we're we're pretty fortunate. We got we got we got a bunch of guys that can play. Our, our, our running back Amari Venerable. Uh, as an outstanding player, uh, Justin Pringle, wide receiver, is is a is a, is a big time player for us. Um, uh, Brant Hickson, another uh, receiver, uh, Kyle Quinn, uh, Mason Gray. These guys are all these guys are all uh, playmakers in, in their in their in their own right. Um, and uh, so, from a, a skilled standpoint, uh, we we couldn't ask for more than what we got. We got guys that we got guys that make plays. If, if we can, if we can hold up uh, on the offensive line and we get some consistent quarterback play, we're going to be pretty darn good there. Yeah. And flipping it over to the defense, who should we look for for leadership and, and to be a standout on defense? Well, and this is where we've got, a, we've got a, a lot of veteran uh, leadership here. You know, Joey Markasovic, our middle linebacker, 
um, you know, is, is coming back for, for his fifth year. Peyton Campbell, defensive lineman, fifth year. Jaleel Holloway, um, uh, senior defensive tackle. Um, those guys have all played a, a ton of games for us. Um, you know, Peyton Nigro, a, a linebacker. Uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Carroll, uh, safety. We we've got uh, I think nine starters back on, on defense. Uh, we should be we should be really solid defensively. We got a chance to be outstanding. Excellent. And lastly, we've got a, a heck of an opponent this Saturday. Talk a little bit about how you guys are preparing for them, and, uh, and kind of what you expect on Saturday. Well, the, you know the good thing about playing you know such a high level uh, quality opponent as you, Indy, is it, it it gets guys' attention right away. I mean, we had they, it, we had their attention in in the spring and and obviously in in camp because you know sometimes if you're playing a, a lesser opponent in week one, sometimes you know camp can drag on and it, it's hard to keep guys focused and, and all that stuff. Well, that that certainly it was not an issue. You know, it was. You know, we were in game mode and, and day one of camp. So, you know, they're they're an outstanding football team. Um, they're they're a very physical team. They got a great running back. He's gonna probably carry the ball 25 times a game, and they're they're rely on him. Uh, but they got you know they got a, a, a big physical offensive line. They're very athletic defensively. The, the linebackers are not real big, but they're but they're fast. They're more like DBs. So, um, you know, our biggest my, my biggest concern. Um, it, going into this game is is just not allowing you know them to make big plays on us, whether it be a, a, a defensive turnover or, or a pop one offensively. You know, I think if if we can hang around, um, get to the fourth quarter, I, I think we got a great chance to beat them. Thank you so much. Thank you.